2018 BMW 6 Series Review. Yes, the BMW 6 Series is a good car. It's available as a sedan, grand coupe or a convertible. It has a range of powerful engine choices, and it's a great cruising vehicle. The cabin is well equipped, and the technology, particularly the infotainment system, is easy to use. No car is perfect, and the 6 Series is no different. The rear seats are on the small side, and some rivals offer tech and safety features that you can't get in this BMW. Overall though, nobody who buys a 6 Series will regret it. We research cars so you don't have to. Our reviews aren't based on our personal opinions. Instead, we gather and analyze the opinions of other professional reviewers and combine them with reliability, safety, and fuel economy data to give you a complete picture of the vehicle. The 2018 BMW 6 Series is part of a generation that began with the 2012 model year. Other than removing the two-door coupe from the 6 Series lineup, the 2018 model sees no major changes. Since the 6 Series hasn't been fully redesigned since the 2012 model year, this overview uses applicable research and data from the 2012 through 2018 model years. The Audi A7 places higher in our rankings than the 6 Series despite having a starting price that's thousands less. The A7 comes standard with features that are either optional or unavailable in its BMW rival, including Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Blind Spot Monitoring, and Lane Change Assist. The rear seats have plenty of legroom, and the hatchback body style means the A7 has one of the largest cargo capacities in the class. The A7 offers several powerful engines including two high-performance models and it has more engaging handling than the 6 Series. There's really no comparison here. The Audi is a better vehicle, and it costs less money. Convertible 6 Series model seat 4. Grand Coupe sedan model ostensibly seat 5 people. The rear middle seat is pretty worthless though, so practically speaking it really only seats four. The front seats have plenty of space and support to ensure the comfort of their occupants. There are two full sets of latch car seat connectors. Unfortunately, the rear head restraint prevents front-facing car seats from lying flat. For rear-facing seat to fit properly, the driver and slash or front passenger must push their seat forward. Additionally, Clipping in a car seat is a chore because the lower anchors are hard to reach. Standard features in the 6 Series include wireless phone charging, the WIFI hotspot, and the user-friendly iDrive infotainment system with a 10.2-inch screen and navigation. Two high-end audio systems and Apple CarPlay are available. Here in and year out, the iDrive system earns praise for being easy to use. The 10.2-inch screen is also larger than some rival infotainment systems so it's easier to see from the driver's seat. Features like the WIFI hotspot provide connectivity. Bluetooth is also standard, but many other cars come standard with Apple CarPlay, whereas it's an available feature in this BMW. Additionally, the 6 Series doesn't offer Android Auto, though some competitors do. There are for 6 Series trims, and each one has its own engine. The base 645 features a 315 horsepower turbocharged six-cylinder. This is the only engine that might not wow you. It has ample power for most driving situations, but the acceleration lags behind that of class rivals. The higher trims all feature twin turbocharged VAS. They range in power from the 650 IS 445 horsepower to the Alpina B6S 600 horses. There's no denying that these engines make this BMW go with gusto. The B6 is one of the fastest cars on the road. It'll go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under a second, and it tops out at 200 miles per hour. The smooth shifting 8-speed automatic transmission comes standard in all models except the M6, which comes with a choice between a 7-speed automatic and a 6-speed manual. The BMW 6 Series has not been put through crash tests by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration or the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The 2018 BMW 6 Series is unquestionably a good car, but it shouldn't be at the top of your wish list. There are better options in this class. The 6 Series delivers a good blend of performance and interior quality, but so do many class rivals. Many competitors have better performance ratings, nicer cabins, or offer features the 6 Series doesn't. Additionally, the BMW costs more than nearly every rival. Don't just take our word for it.
check out comments from some of the reviews that drive our rankings and analysis.